uh, voice control is on. So if I say, hey, Raycast, linear data. Oh, that's nice. cool. That is cool, man. I had no idea you could do that. All right, man. Welcome back to What's in My Raycast. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Let's just do a little context setting here. So a few weeks ago, we went to London. We had our first ever Raycast meetup. We did a live What's in My Raycast session with you, right? You were our guest. I think it was cool. It was nice to do it live. It was nice to meet people in real life. It was the first time we met in real life. But what happened was the What's in My Raycast screen recording stopped halfway through. Oh, wow. <laughs> what do we do now? Any <laughs> IT technicians? So that's why we're now doing this again in the format that we normally do it. So welcome back. Yeah, thanks. All right, so why don't you share your screen with us and then you can start guiding us through the things you use Raycast uh, the most for. I have Raycast in compact mode because I wanted to uh, take like the minimum amount of space. And also I have only uh, my schedule as a favorite because when I'm starting my day, I like to do like command space and command one. And so you can see like my different events. So I have this little uh, analog card with me. So the analog system by Agmonk. And so the first thing I'm doing is I'm writing like all my meetings, but also what I want to work on. So I go through my uh, linear inbox and also my comments uh, on FIMA. So I know what I will be working on today, what are the different priorities, etc. So that's Analyzing. before you check your My Schedule in Raycast? That's at the, at the same time. So I have okay. my Got schedule it. open and I, I have my piece of paper on my desk. I was expecting that you were going to use the, uh, the compact mode. But what I didn't expect was that you'd be using the command one shortcut. I think it's really cool that you got into this habit of just doing command space to launch Raycast and then quickly you can do command one. So you've got the linear menu bar notification command, which I use that yep. as well. Then you've got the GitHub, although your GitHub looks much healthier than mine. I've got like <laughs> 50 plus notifications there. Yep. And then you've got another one with the number zero. What's that little sad one doing there? <laughs> so a little sad one is actually a Raycast exception I created, the Fathom Analytics, uh, which, so you have the current number of visitors. So right now, nobody is on my website. Oh, right. Okay, let's change that. Let me quickly, let me quickly go to your website, man. You know, let's put a number one there. Bingo. There you go. That's what yeah. I like to see. That looks better, no? One visitor, that's me. Yeah. Is there any Raycast feature that you find yourself using every day? Uh, I used before the copy clip and for clipboard management history. Okay. Uh, and also Spectacle, when you can basically move your windows around to the left or to the right and by third, by half extra. So Raycast was actually a nice way to get rid of these apps, even if they were useful in the past. So I have, for example, command option left for half, uh, command option right for uh, half right. And of course, like, you know, you can cycle for that. Uh, I have command option shift F to go to like a more uh, minimize size. Of course, we, we reduce the display size. So this is not like groundbreaking. Have you created a custom window layout command yet? Yeah, I did. Uh, so an actor is someone shared with me that you can uh, also link link it to voice control. And so you can basically open your environment that you created with voice. So that was something I just How do you do that? I don't even know how to do that. Menu. You can go to accessibility, voice control, and then you can toggle it on and off. And you can create commands. So I have actually two. I have one for the plugin I created. And so the trick is, is to... Uh, link it to a shortcut. And so because you have the same shortcuts inside Raycast, it will perform the extension of the command that you created. Can you do a demo of that? I've never actually seen this. Uh, voice control is on. So if I say, hey, Raycast, 
linear data. Oh, that's cool. That is cool, man. I had no idea you could do that. So happy to see that you're using window layouts because I've been sharing the one I created and I only created one so far, which is for coding, right? Uh, you went a step ahead and you started using the latest features from yesterday that allows you to open a specific directory and a specific path, right? You've got hyper terminal on the right at 33% width, and then you've got VS code. And when you click on VS code, then you set the specific path of the project that you want to open in VS code. Very nice. Exactly. Super yeah. cool. I love it, man. That's amazing. What else do you use? What other core features are you using on a daily basis? I think this uh, second that will pop in the UI cast wrap will, will be like the clipboard history. So I really like to like uh, use the filter for that. When I'm basically designing, I rely a lot on text strings and images. So that's really nice to be able to do that. Uh, and also when I'm selecting some colors, so let me go again for that. Uh, colors only, and then I can quickly convert it. Uh, so I think this is command option C. And I can look for LCH, for example, or lab or uh, UI color. And that's really useful because I don't need to, do, to use a web, uh, web converter on something. So I stay in this context where I'm actually working on colors and I can quickly copy paste it and yeah. I'm done. And that so, is yeah. what it's all about, you know, staying in that flow and not having to leave what you're doing to open another tab in a browser, getting sidetracked, checking Twitter, replying to my DM. And before you know, like 10 minutes go by. So uh, that's exactly what it's all about. Um, one quick question. Um, I feel like sometimes as designers, developers, we're taking screenshots all the time, right? It's always like take a screenshot, share it in Slack, put it in Figma. One workflow that I can sort of imagine not using anymore is that when I take a screenshot, it's actually taking a screenshot through clean shot. And often yeah. when I take a screenshot, I just want to un annotate it quickly. So then I just go say, take screenshot, open clipboard history, and I do shift command A. That's the hotkey to annotate and it opens in clean shot straight away. I have the exact same setup as you. So uh, with one thing in addition, if I go to my clipboard history and I'm looking for images, one thing we like to do is to have like, not only the desktop interface we are working on inside Figma. So the, the workflow is basically, I'm on a frame and I do command shift C to copy this frame as an image. So it becomes available uh, inside the clipboard history. Then I do the same thing as you, command shift A to open um, clean shot. And then I do one thing that is called preset. So I have basically a macOS preset that add a nice corner, a radius, a shadow, and a padding. So you have a bit more, like basically the screenshot is a bit more pretty to look at, uh, almost like if you are actually on, on the desktop. Are you using Raycast AI at all? Because obviously I know that you are Raycast Pro because you're using window layouts. How does AI uh, fit into your workflow? I use it for two workflows, I would say. Um, first is more about when I'm, because I'm not an English uh, native speaker, as you can probably tell, uh, I like to make some corrections, uh, fix different uh, spelling grammar, etc. Uh, so I have a few comments. So I'm using the translator sometimes, uh, but also like, so I have this as a shortcut. So I have option T because it's translate. Oh um, yeah, exactly the same as me, man. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and also I like to select uh, uh, messages inside Slack, it's like linear, and being able to just do fixed spelling and grammar and then improve writing or maybe improve writing and see if there is any mistakes to correct. So that's one workflow, I would say. And the second workflow is when I'm creating something. Uh, so I have a few AI chat presets. Uh, when, for example, I'm working on a Figma plugin and basically have, let me center it maybe. Basically, I have Sony uh, as a model, as a creativity, and also I have a bunch of system instruction. And I have basically the same 
chat preset, but for uh, React, and also when I'm creating a Raycast extension. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. You so you're making use of presets quite a lot. That's really nice. I think that's a nice way also, you know, to when you want to learn a bit more about how LLMs are working, what are their key differences, I think it's a nice way to, because you can switch between models in the same chat window. Yes. See how they are different when you are actually using them and not when you are right, uh, reading the change log of the company. 100%. Um, I think we don't mention enough like how it, how easy it is to do some math, uh, both when you are actually like designing, like I don't know, like how how much is uh, 18 pixels in REM, um, but also well, like when you you want to I don't know do some basic addition, but also when basically like all things related to the natural language, like I want to check the time in SF, for example, like it's. Really become really an habit to like this common space and asking what I'm, uh, what I'm looking for, and then you just press tab, and so you have, for a more complex question, of course, uh, you can follow this conversation and stay in your flow like you have on top of your current window, so it's really nice. Raycast feels re really native, at least to me. You know, sometimes I I think about it like as I uh, had like multiple arms, and okay. because the Raycast is so fast, I can like grab stuff. Like if I if, if I uh, if I'm in the like real world, if I have multiple arms, I can be a bit more faster probably. Yeah. Uh, kind of the Doctor Octopus uh, <laughs> thing. Yeah. yeah. And that's the same thing with Raycast, I think, because you are able to do like a lot of things in a couple of seconds, you feel way more efficient sometimes.